Ayan, which I'll I probably will meet when I get older. This is Aubrey, your Adonisa from the Provincia. And today we will be talking about how I was able to pass all my college entrance exams. If you haven't noticed, this is the first video in this channel. So it's bound to be cringy. I would really appreciate it guys if you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you think if you think that this video is helpful or is somehow inspirational. Quick background guys, I was able to pass all my entrance exams which were the ASSET, UPCAT, DCAT, USTED, UPSET, and PLMAT. Story time, Ateneo wasn't actually my Ateneo wasn't actually my first choice, it was actually UP and Daniel. And mind you, when I aim for big schools, I aim for a scholarship. Is it? Wait for I'm going to cut this video into three parts, namely what to do before exams, during exams, and after exams. I will also allow time later on in this video to talk about my personal experiences. Quick disclaimer guys, I made this video for the sole purpose of informing and hopefully inspiring students, especially grade 12 students who are about to take their college entrance exam. I mean, kung wala nang college. <laughs> but I did not make this video to boast. My case is not extraordinary. I know a lot of people now were able to pass all of their entrance exams. Iba mas pa sa akin. Before entrance exams. Now the first thing that you want to do is to write down all of your dream schools. Now it doesn't matter if that school is expensive or kung mahirap yung exam or mahirap makapasa. Kung pangarap mo yung school na yan, isulat mo. For Ateneo, they give free entrance exams to students who are in a science high school, in a public high school, and to uh, students in private high schools as long as they are in the top 10 of the batch. For Lasa naman, they give free entrance exams for students in a public high school and a science high school. For that, based on what I remember, they give free entrance exams to public high schools now. And top 10 lang na batch. Pagkaat is of course free. The first step kasi in dreaming is of course, Dream. Kahit nakatakot, kahit feeling mo impossible, you have to dream. Number two, write down all the requirements in your school and accomplish this requirement as early as you can. Either one or two requirements, makakalimutan mo yan kung hindi mo siya ililista. Now, what you want to do is to have a notebook and andun sa notebook na yung lahat ng requirements per school. And what I did was I put a checkbox beside each requirement para natatrack down mo alin pa yung kailangan kong askasunan. Some requirements kasi are basic now. For example, photocopy of this, photocopy of that, it's basic. But some requirements, they take much more time to accomplish. For example, yung forms ng UPCAT, the yung um, recommendation letters. Sometimes these papers take more time to accomplish. Kasi let's face it, sometimes mabagal ang um, registrar. Pero because maybe marami silang kailang, kailang gawin, kaya naging so, what you want to do is to give your papers ahead of time. For my UPCAT forms, what I did was actually August team started classes namin, and I passed my UPCAT forms July pa lang. Kasi ayoko na kaagaw sa oras and gusto ko makuha ko kagad yung forms ko. No way am I going to cram my UPCAT requirements. No! Same with Ateneo. Ateneo has a lot of recommendation letters, especially if you are applying for a scholarship, which I did. Super damning recommendation letters. I think it was four. For Ustet naman, the Ustet form. It's really fast kasi konti lang yung kailangan fill up on the registrar. Just the English, Math, and Science grades and yung dry seal, dry seal ng school and that's it. Personally, I find DCAT requirements the easiest of them all. Because you just have to scan it, upload it, and print it. That's it. The same goes with DUP. For PLM naman, I had to personally go to the school to submit my requirements. And I had to leave a class because of that. Step number three. Join Facebook groups and like Facebook pages. Use the power of social media to talagi ka din naman online. Kasi when you log into your Facebook account, the first thing that you want to see is the announcements of those schools. So it's better to tweak those settings para sila yung mga una mong may that. Step number four. Review centers. Now guys, I will not pressure you to enroll in a review center. Kasi hindi po ka nag-enroll ka ng review center, pasado ka na matik. No. I'm just saying that there are things that review centers taught me, which gave me the advantage. Now, the review center that I joined was Granging, 
and there I met the most talented and Kalog teachers. Now, if we did enroll for a review center, but you did not bother to review your manual after your sessions, edi wala lang din. At the end of the day, ikaw pa rin ang masusunod sa kapalaran mo. Kung magre-review pa, or chill pa lang. For those hindi naka-budget si Review Center, that's okay. There are tons of review materials online. You can find them in Facebook groups or in YouTube. And from there, idaan nyo sa CPAG. Really, hindi mo kailangang mag-review center para makabasa. Though, Review Centers give you an advantage. Nasa sa'yo pa rin yun kung magre-review pa or hindi. Now, sets kasi are more focused on high school topics. But there are times na merong topics in math and in science na tinuturo lang sa senior high school. Sadly, majority of the sets are either STEM or ABM centered. Hindi siya yung per I personally took cues for my senior high school, humanities and social sciences. Diyan pa lang, dehado na ako. We only have one math and one science. Right now, if you are doubting your skills, let me remind you that hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. In short, idaan mo sa sibat. Tip number five, go to the exam venue before your exam day. I cannot stress this point enough kasi super important niya. Okay lang na maligaw ka, basta hindi sa exam day mismo. This happened to me when I went to UP for my exam for it. Nandun ako sa admissions building. Kumuha ko ng photocopy ng map nila and sinundan ko. Pero naligaw pa rin ko. Imagine kung ito ay nangyari sa exam day mismo. Ang mahirap pa, trick yung araw, Ako lang mag-isa. Wala akong taong nakakasalubong. Wala akong sasakyan na ikita. Eventually, nahanap ko din yung building ko, which was the National Institute of Physics. And I realized that si building pala ay halos malapit na kay UT Town Center. So imagine gano'ng kahaba yung nilakit ko. If you're not able to go to the exam venue beforehand, make sure that you ask people who are familiar to that place specific directions. Kung wala talaga, magtiis ka sa security guard. Wala na arte-arte. Magtanong ka. Next naman is what you want to do during the exams. So yan na, nakuha mo na si test permit. Yan na. So what you want to remember is this five tips. Tip number one. Tip number one. Ditch the OOD day. What's the point? Everyone is either praying or stressing about the exams. Pumunta ka sa exam venue na yun para mag-exam. Not to dress up. What you want to do is to wear simple clothing. You have to be ready for either a too hot venue or a too cold venue. How? So you have this basic clothing. Then bring a jacket. Para you know. And that tip number two. Don't drink your water, bitch. Sometimes people drink a lot of liquids when they are nervous. Don't do this during entrance exams. Kasi sa sabog yung pantog mo. What you want to do is to drink small amounts of water, but don't gulp it all down. Some schools kasi don't allow the students to leave the room unless the exam is finished na. But sometimes they do. They do allow the students. Pero sayang pa rin. Kasi imbes na nagsasagot ka at matapos mo yung exam, binigay mo yung time na yun to go to the CR so. Number three, snacks. Now I may have looked dorky in these steps, but it's what I did. I brought with me a small square lock and lock container, and inside of it, naka himay himay na yung chocolate bar ko, and nakatanggal na sa balat pati yung candies ko. Why? To save time. Alam mo naman at that specific moment ka pa magbalat. E di sayang yung time mo. Ano kung hindi mo pa mabuksan? E di sayang naman yung time mo. Tip number four, mark the shade technique. This technique maximizes your time because in all honesty, shading takes too much time. What I do is I mark the circle of my answer with a check. Then I proceed to the next question. After answering all of the questions, how ko sila ishade isa isa? Why? You want to cover as much test questions as you can. And by doing this technique, mababasa mo, if not all, but most of the questions. Tip number five, kung hindi mo may iwan mo na. Hindi advisable na magpakahirap ka sa isang number na worth one point lang naman. Whereas sana yung time na spinend mo doon sa isang number na yun, eh, na-allot mo pa sa other numbers na di hamak mo mas madali. Kaya-kaya mo yung balikan. What to do after exams? Pray! Kasi wala ka na magagawa. Tapos na yung exams. But what you want to do is to pray and to check the pages of the schools for announcements. For my personal experiences, I find DCAT, OCAT, and Usted as the hardest of them all. Kasi these exams were so heavily focused on math. And if not math, business math. Anong alam ng yungs sa business math? With PN math naman, it, for me it was weird. Kasi ang isha-shade mo ay rectangle, hindi siya circle. Which is... Personally, compared to other exams, 
I find ACID as the easiest of them all. For example, because it was just composed of math, English, and logical reasoning. So kahit hirap ako sa math, binawi ko siya, of course, sa English, sa logical reasoning, and of course, sa essay. I remembered my essay. Pumabot siya sa likod kasi I really, really enjoy writing essay. And doon na lang kasi ako babawi. So, bigay na lang lahat doon. So that's it guys! If you have other tips na hindi kasama kanina, please comment down below and tulungan natin yung mga grade 12 students. Again, this is Audrey, your admin staff from the Provincia, specifically Team Building Captain of Bansa, Laguna! Please comment down below if you have future suggestions because this YouTube channel is just starting and it's bound to be cringy. <laughs> but thanks for watching!